Okay, so the first part in the four part close is calendar. Now let's tune into Emily and Jill's role play. Let's watch what Emily says. Listen closely. We'll come back and talk about each part. All right, we are all set for your tour on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Hey, so Jill, uh, tell me, how do you keep track of your schedule? Okay, I want you to notice something. Emily has an appointment already, right? We are all set. She confirms the date and time. Now what she's going to do is she's going to go ahead and say, Hey, Jill, let me ask you something. How do you keep track of your schedule? The idea here is, is that we find out what Jill does to organize herself. Is it in her phone? Does she carry a calendar? Does she use a rock that she chips into? Little dates and notches. I don't know what she does, but we need to find out. Most of them are going to respond with, I put it in my phone. Just on my phone. Okay, so I, I'm going to go ahead and put you in my calendar and I'll hold while you put me into yours. Oh, okay, one sec. All right. Okay, got it. Okay, excellent. Emily's knocking it out of the park here. Okay, what Emily just said is she says, okay, perfect, we agree, the phone is a great place. And then what she says is she says, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put you in my calendar and I'll hold while you put me in yours. Now, the idea here is that we establish first, where do you keep track? How do you keep track of yourself? Where do you keep your schedule? Second, that what we do is we go ahead and establish what it is that we want them to do. I want you to put this information in that phone, okay? And we need to make sure that they actually do it, right? And then, in order to not sound condescending, like I'm asking them to do things, I'm babying them, like, oh, I'm treating you like a child. Pull out your, your calendar, baby, so that you can write everything down. I, I don't want it to feel like that. So what we do is we say, okay, I'll go ahead and put you in my calendar, and then I'll hold while you put me in yours right? This makes it feel more like we are peers and we're not being at all condescending. This is a really important part of the four part close. Okay, now is the time to be quiet. Sit back there, be quiet, put it in your calendar and don't talk because the second they you talk and if they hear you, they're going to stop putting it in their phone and put it back to their head, which means they may not complete the task of putting it in their phone, which means you now do not get an alert. Make sure you give them plenty of time. Now, let's talk about why it is so important that they don't just write it down on paper. I do not want this appointment writ written on a, on a piece of paper. And there's a couple reasons. One, because a paper goes away. You lose it. Two, a paper cannot notify you, right? A paper can't say, hey, remember, you have this appointment. There's no alarm setting on a paper that says you have an appointment today at 3 o'clock to meet with Emily. And three, most importantly, when she pulls out her calendar, what she's going to see, and you'll find this, by the way, and this is a huge success. She's going to pull out that calendar. She's going to go like this. She's going to go, oh, okay. Um, oh, you know what? Did you, did you say it's at, she'll confirm the time. And, and, and you go, oh, yeah, yep, that's right. And she goes, oh, I have a doctor's appointment. I, I can't do it at that time. Well, I'm glad we had this conversation, right? So see, what happens is we knock all of those three things out in one question. How do you keep track of your schedule? And then you make them put it in that calendar, however it is. Again, if it's daily planner, that's fine. Now, the question's going to arise, and I'm going to bring this again, up again in one of the other parts, the four-part close. What if they're driving? Do, what do I do? I mean, if they're driving down the road, do I still have them put it in their phone? You're not going to like this answer. You're going to think I'm crazy. What you're going to do is ask, they're going to, so they'll say something like, oh, I'm driving, I, I, I can't put it, I don't know if I can put it in my phone right now. What you do is you say, no problem, Jill. First of all, agree with them in that second. No problem. Then you ask them this question. Oh, are you driving around town or are you on the freeway? If they are on the freeway, do not make them pull over. Do not make them pull over. But if they're just driving around town, this is a $20,000 decision. It's better that they pull over because you're going to have them you're going to ask them to do a couple other things as well. Okay, now if they say that they are on the freeway, by the way, what you're going to do is you're going to offer to text and or email them all of this information, okay? Now, again, only if they're on the freeway. Okay, now what about the person who says, "Oh, you know what? I don't really keep it. it everything just goes up here like a vault." You know what? Here's the thing. 
it's great that they do that, but what you're gonna do is then you're going to put it into part two of the four part close. You're gonna have them write it down. Now also, you're gonna offer to text them that date and time. So we kind of cover our, our backs there. Now, I gotta make sure again, that is only if they say that they have no way of keeping track of their schedule. But read between the lines, what does that mean? You're probably setting your, yourself up for a no-show. So you're gonna really wanna reinforce the other three parts, the four-part close.